Hi guys, I love the idea of a found family. <laughs> So today I am counting my blessings and, you know, I love this idea of the found family um, where let's say you don't have a family or maybe you don't get along with your family and the people that you build a community with who live around you, your friends, become your support system and basically become your family. I love that. But there is a small part of me that's also a little sad that people, um, in some cases are choosing that over their family. Um, and sometimes you just don't have that. And I, I think it's sad growing up. It was not part of my reality. It never occurred to me that other people weren't close to their family. And when I say family, I'm, I'm, I'm in this particular instance, I'm talking about the people that you're related to by blood or marriage. And I do think this idea of the found family is great. Um, especially because sometimes just because you're legally contractually obligated to like spend time with a person doesn't make them someone that you want to spend time with and support and you know stuff like that just because you happen to share a dna strand doesn't mean that you want these people to be a part of your life so i get that but that wasn't my reality growing up i feel like i was very fortunate um to grow up with a family that I felt close to. And I'm not being like delusional here. My family's not perfect. That's not, I'm not trying to, we're not the Waltons or the Partridge family. That's not what I'm saying. What I am saying is that I feel like that even if my family was arguing or, or not getting along at that time, that we were still kind of there for each other. And I began to realize as I was growing up that there's kind of like two mentalities when it comes to the idea of family, whether it's natural born family, family that you're married to, or your found family, is that um, some people consider family a burden or an obligation, whereas other people consider it like an honor, something that they want to do. And I think that's where it comes into play. I think, unfortunately, a lot of people are born into families where it's like you're born into this family this is what you're going to do, whether you like it or not, because it's family. And I think that that's just so sad. And I feel like that's the reason why the found family concept has become such a big thing, especially in America. And I'm not speaking for the rest of the world, but I know that that's a really big thing here in America. And so um, I'm just counting my blessings because I, I am fortunate enough to where I feel like I have all of that. I have family that I was born into, that I feel a connection to, family that I want to be there and support. I have um, cousins that I grew up with. I was very close to them when I was younger and I'm not very close to them now. Yet still, um, when I see them, we pick up where we left off. Um, even if things are kind of strained within the family, if someone needs support, we're all sending prayers. We're sending money, you know, we are supporting each other and, and I can't speak for them, but for me, I feel like I do it because your family, of course, I want to do that as opposed to your family, I guess I'm going to do that, you know? And so that's the natural born family that I, you know, was just blessed with. I've also been blessed with um, family that I've kind of married into and they recently experienced or tornado and they're they're okay but it was like when I found out about that you know I was like well you know do they need anything can we help them can we support them you know and so and we're going to be you know helping and support some of them when they come through here to like visit and travel and stuff and so I've been very blessed there are a lot of people out there who absolutely hate <laughs> their in-laws like knock down drag out you might see them on um one of those crime documentary <laughs> shows um, I'm fortunate that that's not the case with me. Again, I'm not trying to be delusional and pretend like everything is perfect all the time because it's not. Um, and, and the crazy thing about it is as family, whether it's natural born family, family you're married to, or even your found family, we as human beings have favorites. We try not to, we, we, we never say it out loud, but I mean, let's just be real. And so the idea there, if you, if you have a favorite, you also have a least favorite. But my thing is, even with the people who might be my least favorite, they're still family. And I'll fight anyone who tells me different. Like, they're still family. 
I'm still going to support them, even if I'm not always happy about it, you know? So I've been very blessed with both my natural born family, the family that I've married into. And then there's my found family. Yes, I even have found family. There are people who, when I say, oh, we need to get the family together, these people are on the list and I'm not related to them by blood. I'm not related to them by marriage, but they are family. And again, it's the same thing. It's not like, well, they're family. So I guess I have to do this. No, it's like they're family. Of course I want to do this. And so that is why I am counting my blessings today because unfortunately we live in a world where not everyone is as blessed as I am with family, whether it be natural born, married or found. And so I'm just very excited to recognize that in my life. Um, Just real quick, I want to shout out to my six wonderful nieces and nephews. I have three black nieces and nephews and I have three white nieces and nephews and I love them all. And they are just such a blessing to me and my husband. We don't have children of our own. That was planned. So don't feel bad for us, but still um, we love, you know, hearing about our nieces and nephews, being a part of their life's accomplishments and things like that, having conversations with them and just, you know, getting to be a part of their lives. And so I'm a happy aunt and I am counting my blessings today. What do you guys um, think about, you know, this, this idea of family, natural born, married into found family. Um, I do hope you have a familial blessing in your life. And until next time, guys, stay safe and be blessed. Hey, guess what? If you like what you see, you can totally subscribe to this channel. You could also give it a like and leave me a comment. I would totally love that. Okay. Bye-bye.